Birkefield. Birk, Birkefield. British Birkefield. Feld. British Birkefield. Hello, welcome back to the Bugger Channel. Now join me today as we take a look at British Birkefield's stainless steel gravity water filter. A low tech, high performance water filtration system for home or outdoors. It's essential for the water that you drink to be clean and free from any harmful bacteria or contaminants. So the British Birkfield uh, stainless steel gravity water filter requires no electricity, no plumbing and it's a great way to provide clean, safe drinking water for yourself and for your family. Basically just pour the water in and let the filters do the work. So the unit itself is made from uh, high quality surgical grade stainless steel so that gives it a very good resistance against corrosion and because of the quality of the stainless steel it's extremely durable and still lightweight. Now the filters, there's a few different filters you can get. Some will take out the fluoride as well as all the particulates and the bacteria. The ones that are in this box are the ceramic ones. So they've got a ceramic shell and inside they've got a, a core made up of activated charcoal and I think it's silver in there as well and it stops 99.99% of bacteria, parasites, um, sediments and all that nasty stuff while still leaving all the minerals and nutrients in the water. So yeah, like I say, it's a high quality product and been extremely well tested over the years. So what we're going to do, we're open up the box, we'll take a look inside of all the bits and bobs, see how it's packaged and then we'll assemble it and then we'll give it a good test. So this one is the 8.5 litre filter system, you can get a 12 litre plus you can get 6 litre and they are developing a 1 litre system as well which is coming out soon so that should be good for smaller camping trips and uh, especially if you're on the move. So this is how it's delivered in a box, so we'll crack this open and take a look inside. Right, let's open up the box. So that's the filter. So let's say this is the eight and a half litre um, unit. Here's the instructions. So even though this is an eight and a half litre unit, it's relatively compact. So if you was um, camping in a vehicle, a um, camper van or a boat, and there's a group of you, yeah, this is uh, just a job. And I say this has got two candles in, or two filters, but you, you can have four in this sort of setup, and each candle will do 20 litres in 24 hours. So it's a fair bit of water if you was going out in a group. So lid, just take the cover off. So the unit comes in two halves. This is the top half. This is the way you put the water, the dirty water. You see it's got holes in the bottom. This one's already got two cut out for two filters. The eight and a half litre unit and the 12 litre unit have an, an extra two holes. Um, so you could have four candles in it or four, four filters, like I said, but they've got the rubber grommets in it at the moment. So there's obviously just two candles supplied. Speaking of which, they're inside in the box. And this is the base unit. And also your hole in for your tap. So the top unit, where the holes are, that just slides inside the base unit. And lid on the top. Obviously you could put all the gubbins in there first, and that's what we do now. So the filters. So like I say, these are a ceramic based filter, they've got activated charcoal inside, uh, plus some silver and, and whatnot, I don't know, everything all together. All the details, I'll put a link below, so you, if you want to look into it further, you can do. Yeah, these are the ultra sterosol filters, or candles, I think they call them. Like I say, there's a few different types, there's one that will take all the fluoride out of the water, um, as well as all the nastiness, and then there's just the sterosol one, this is the ultra sterosol. So, um, Again, depending on which filter you use and how dirty your water is, will determine how long or how long often you have to change your filters or candles. So yeah, there's two of them in the box. Inside the package with the filter or candle comes with all the relevant uh, information. So if you want to read all that, you can do. Also in the box, there's all your bits and bobs. So you got your tap. You 
You can upgrade to a metal tap, the standard one is a plastic. And for the tap you've got a washer and wing nut. You've got a little knob for your lid. And then you've got your washers and locking nuts for the, the candles or filters. Kick one of filters or candles, whatever, you know what I mean. So yeah, there's a locking nut and washers for that. So, first job first. Let's get a little knob out. Take a little screw at the bottom, put the screw through the underside of the lid. Take your knob, behave. And just give it a good screw there. Yeah, hand tight is tight enough. So, your base unit with a tap, let's go to the rubber washer. Put onto the tap, like so. Poke that in the hole. Rubber washer then on the inside, on the thread. Then you got your locking that then the thread on. Once you got it hand tight. Just make sure you have the tap at 90 degrees from the bottom. Hold the, the lock in that and just turn that tap just a little bit more. So it's facing down. And that's tight enough. Don't over tight it, otherwise you'll, you'll ruin the washer and you might break the tap. So that's nice and secure. Now, top unit. So you got your, your candle or filter. So what you want to do first is get your rubber washer, put on that, put that on the thread, poke that into the hole from the inside, like so. And just get your locking nut or wing nut and thread that on. Just make sure you got the candle nice and upright and pushed into the, the base of the, the unit. Tidy. Again, hand tight is tight enough. That's one. And like I say, if you wanted four filters or four candles, four candles, four candles, instead of the two, just pop the grommets out and just repeat this with the other two. Filter the candles. Here's the two in here. Secure enough. And that's it guys. It does say in instructions to um, soak your rubber washers first, but I didn't bother. This is just for a demonstration, but if you're doing it at home, go by the instructions, soak your rubber washers first, clean everything off. You could soak your candles if you wanted, or clean the inside if you want to use it straight away. But as it's just a demonstration, I'm not gonna bother. So there we are. Top units on there. Head on. So that's the complete unit. Like I say, this is the eight and a half litre. There's a six litre um, and a 12 litre as well. But um, yeah, it's good enough. And uh, quite pleased with that. So the proof is in the testing. So what we've done now, now we've got it set up, is to get some uh, rainwater which we collect and pour this in. And then um, we'll see how it filters and tastes obviously. So we'll do that now. Now the water I'm using for this test is rainwater collection. This little manhole collects all the rainwater, runs behind the house, off the fields, off the roof, uh, through the downpipes. All collects in here and then it goes into a bigger underground tank underneath the shed. We use that for a grey water system, flushing the toilets for the campsite and um, yeah, washing down the, the trucks and vehicles on the yard. So like I said before, these filters are not just used for off-grid situations or SHTF situations. You could just want to filter your town water, your mains water, just to take out the taste, the chlorine, or the fluoride, and the general nastiness which you can find in modern day water. So yeah, this water we're gonna get a bucket full now, and then um, chuck it in the filter and see how it gets on. So, it's not clean water, but it's not covered in filth. So uh, it'll be ideal for this test.
Right, so here we are, then we've got the water. So we're gonna test out the Birkfeld um, water filtration system. Like I've shown, the water is uh, from a grey water uh, storage tank we got, or this the sediment tank just before the, the actual storage tank. So it's got a bit of sediment in it. It's um, run off from the fields, off the roof. So um, it's got all sorts of it. So yeah, so it'll be a good test, I think. So before you actually do your filtering, you want to test the system first. Uh, pour a bit of water in, make sure all your your washers are sealed. Make sure your candles and your taps not leaking before you commit to putting X amount of water in. So um, I'm going to skip that part. We're just going to go straight into it and see how it goes. What I am going to do is going to partially filter the water with a shemag before it goes in there, just to take out the bigger particulates. It's just a way of prolonging the life of your your filter candles. Um, if you take most of the sediment out before it goes into the tank. So uh, you don't have to, but it's just what I want to do. So let's get to it. So there we have it. We've got the water in. I've kept a little bit of water back, put in a, a glass, so we've got a comparison at the end. And uh, what we're going to do now, put the lid on and wait. And we'll come back when we've got enough water in the lower compartment just to have a look at. So we'll catch you in a bit. Right, so British Birkfeld filters. So the company itself, it's been going for nearly 200 years. I think 1827 is um, when it first started. And these filters are sold all over the world. And they're used for humanitarian crisis, disaster areas, earthquakes, all that sort of thing. So yeah, this company is well renowned all over the world. Now you might have heard about the Berkeley filter out in America and a few issues they're having, mainly because of the testing is done in-house. And the testing apparently is not quite as strident as it should be. The story behind the American Berkeley filter apparently they used to distribute the British Birkfelds in America and then went and developed their own based on the, the British Birkfeld design. So uh, that's what I've been told. So uh, yeah, this is the original and probably the best. British Birkfeld, their testing is done by independent sources and uh, regularly tested. And they've been in the manufacturing business for nearly 200 years. So what you're getting is a good, well-tested quality product. Now like other filtration systems, the, the cartridges will have to be uh, changed periodically some six months, some 12 months. Depends on which ones you have, and obviously you'll depend how dirty your water is. Maintenance-wise, the stainless steel is easy to clean. Uh, the, the cartridges can be cleaned if there's sediment built up in the, in the chamber. Take the filters out, clean them, and put them back in. And the end result is great tasting, clean, safe drinking water for you and your family. As you can see, the filter's doing its job. The water's trickling down through the candles into this bottom compartment um, but it's going to take a while so we'll come back when we've got enough to test some time later right we're back sometime later i suppose the only negative about these filters is the time it takes for the water to filter but because the filters are so good it's going to take a certain amount of time uh, to filter all that nastiness out of the water and be safe to drink so we'll have a quick look inside now the top compartment you can see where the water, uh, as it's been draining away, is left sediment rings around the top um, and there's a little bit of sediment at the bottom. But the good thing about these filters, uh, being stainless steel and a ceramic candles, you can take this apart and give it a good clean before filtering any more water. The bottom compartment, the water in here is crystal clear. Yeah. So it'll be interesting now to get a glass full of that freshly filtered water and compare it against the, the water I took out of the tank before going through the filter, um, just for clarity, and then we'll give it a taste test. Right, let's get to it. Yeah, that's good. I don't know if you notice, I did tip away the first glass of water. It does say on the instructions that you should pour away 
the first bit of filtered water that you do just because it's running through the system for the first time getting out the, through the tap and through obviously through the, the candles but I thought I'd just tip out one glass I'm not wasting all that water, it took ages to filter it so uh, this will do me but yeah, very clear So there's definitely a marked difference of the clarity between the water's just been filtered to the water before going into the filter, even though I did pass it through the Shemag to get rid of all the bigger particulates. So, taste test. Yeah, water. Tastes good. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Like I said before, these filters are not just for off-grid living or SHTF situations or even camping or outdoors. You can use these at home. If you worry about the quality of your mains water or what chemicals are put in it, these filters will take out all the nastiness and give you clean, safe drinking water for you and your family. Yachida. So there we are guys, a great and successful test of this British Berfield uh, water filtration system. I'm getting these in the shop, like I say, the link will be below if uh, you want to purchase them. A great product. Like I say, this company's been going around for 200 years, so they know what they're doing. It's been thoroughly tested, and um, if you want clean, safe drinking water for, your, for yourself and for your family, free of sediment, um, parasites, bacteria, fluoride, no matter what it is, this is the job to do it. So thanks for watching. If you want to see some more videos, check this one out, and that one, and I'll catch you next time. All the best.